actually the fifth edition of Build Peace. Uh, and this year we're delighted to be co-organizing the conference with our colleagues at the Center for Democracy and Peacebuilding, from whom you'll be hearing shortly. Um, and we're also very happy to be in Belfast and at Ulster University. And before we tell you a bit more about the conference program and how it's all going to uh, work over the next few days, I would like to invite Professor Paddy Nixon, the Vice Chancellor and President of Ulster University, to give some opening remarks. Well, good morning, and can I just say uh, it's an absolute pleasure to welcome you all here um, to Ulster University, to our Belfast campus, to Belfast and to Northern Ireland. Um, I'm sure you're going to have an incredibly informative and exciting couple of days here, um, but as well as hearing all those stimulating talks, um, um, being able to participate in the provoking, uh, provoking discussions and conversations, I also hope you have a chance to visit um, some of the, rather, the city and some of the things that it has to offer. It's a phenomenal place um, and it really is worth spending a little bit of time just getting to know it. I'm particularly delighted that the conference is being held on our Belfast campus. Um, I'm obviously biased. Um, I do actually really love my university um, and I'm particularly proud of what we're trying to do, achieve here. So your conference in reimagining prosperity, alternative economies of peace. Well, Ulster University is reimagining Belfast. Um, we're at the centre of one of the most significant regeneration projects um, that is going on in Northern Ireland or even on this island. As you will see outside, we've got a lot of buildings happening out there. It's a £260 million investment in the city centre. It's investment in North Belfast, so it was an area of the city that was really most challenged during the Troubles and is coming out of that. And the university is now playing its part in building this community and building and regenerating the area. We're going to move something like 16,000 staff and students from the suburbs of Belfast here into the city centre. So we're going to go from about five or 600 a day, staff and students being on the campus, to five to 6,000 a day being in this area. And that really is a stimulus for re regeneration, but it's also a stimulus for us to start to think about how we will reimagine this part of the city and then the city as a whole and hopefully Northern Ireland, because cities are widely regarded as being the core generators of the economies and social um, capital of any country. So what are we trying to achieve in doing this? Very recently we assigned a, 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 an agreement with all the community groups around here and we have a, a rich tapestry of different communities that sit around the campus and we've signed an agreement with them that we will work for the betterment of this community in terms of what our skills that we can bring. So obviously education is one of our key things. So we like to very much focus on how we can solve um, society's problems by bringing education to bear. Um, we're, I'm very proud of the fact that we as an institution draw equally from each of the five quintiles of socioeconomic access, from the most well-off to the least well-off. So we are a very unique university and we really do reach into communities and raise ambitions and give people options. So in moving to this uh, part of the city and doing this agreement with the local communities, we're going to work particularly hard to try and rebuild and develop this area. But in doing that also, we can bring to bear some of our other skill sets and how we might um, support them in, in lobbying, engaging to do other things. So in terms of attracting businesses in, in terms of how they as a community might start to work uh, more collaboratively across a range of activities in, in, the, in, in Northern Ireland. So I think it's very fitting that your conference is here. It aligns so well with what we try to achieve as our institution. I'll finish by saying that we are a civic university. We've made our very clear statement that we are about place and what we can do in that place to really transform lives. Um, and I think looking to the next generation of how uh, economies can develop in the context of peace is a very, very timely conversation to be having in the context of what we're doing at this moment in time. In a moment, I'll be handing over to our Pro Vice Chancellor for Research and Impact, um, Kathy Gormley-Hina, and she'll tell you a lot more about what's going on in the institution. But I'll just finish by saying you're very welcome to Northern Ireland, very welcome to this university, and I hope you have an absolutely superb conference.